Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my August favorites. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, this first product is something that I started to use a while ago, and when I first started using it, I didn't love it so much because my skin was super dry, but now that my skin is getting more on the oily side postpartum, I'm really, really loving this. Even though it's marketed to dry to extra dry skin, I feel like it's perfect for my oily skin. But just an FYI, my skin is not super oily. It's more combination, whereas before when I was pregnant, I would say it was pretty much just dry. This product is from La Roche-Posay. This is their Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash. You can see I've used quite a bit, so I definitely have strong opinions on this because I've used over half the bottle. So it claims to be, like I said, for dry to extra dry skin for the body and the face. It is accepted by the National Eczema Association, so definitely dry skin friendly. It claims to gently cleanse the body and the face without stripping. There's 24 hours of hydration starting in the shower. This has ingredients like glycerin, niacinamide, shea butter, lots of really moisturizing skin loving ingredients in this product. Um, but when I was pregnant, when my skin was a little drier, this formula didn't feel as good to me as like my CeraVe hydrating cleanser. That cleanser is more of a milky consistency, whereas this one is more of a soapy consistency. It feels more like a foaming face wash than it does a milky, super hydrating face wash. And though it didn't strip my skin, it didn't give me terrible results, I just didn't love the feeling of it on my dry skin. However, now that my skin is more, like I said, combination, that hydrating CeraVe cleanser is not really cutting it for me anymore. I feel like I need something with a little bit more of a soapy, foaming texture to really kind of get into my skin, but I don't want it to be stripping. I don't want it to make my oily skin more of an issue by super drying my skin out so that my skin overproduces oil. And I feel like this checks all those boxes. So if you feel like you're somewhere in between like the CeraVe foaming cleanser and the CeraVe hydrating cleanser, the foaming one feels too stripping, the hydrating one feels too milky, this is like the perfect in between. And I've just really been enjoying it and it's lasted me so long, you get so much product. Love that it has a pump and I just really trust this skincare brand. All right, next up is a product that's almost gone. I've used so much of it. And this is the Bio Oil. I just picked this up from Target. This is Bio Oil Skincare Oil. I used this a lot during my last pregnancy as well as this one. And I'm using it now postpartum. It's just a really dynamic product. I didn't get stretch marks with either pregnancy, but I know that's mostly internal. It's mostly genetic. So I can't say that I credit this for that, but I definitely was using this product while I was pregnant. But after my last pregnancy, once the bump was gone, because what I was worried about was stretch marks, I stopped using it. And with this one, postpartum, I've been continuing to use this. And I definitely have a scar, for those of you that don't know, my baby was breech and I had to have a C-section. So this feels really nice now that that incision is healed. I feel like if you have any part of your body that has been through it a little bit, this is just a great healing oil to put on it every day. I put this on my stomach at night and it is a little bit greasy. It doesn't totally soak up into the skin, so it's gonna get a little bit on whatever pajamas you wear, if you wear a t-shirt or a nightgown. It will get a little bit on there, especially if you use quite a bit like I do, but it doesn't stain. It washes right out of all of my clothes and it just feels like I'm putting a mask on some skin that has been through it and I definitely see positive results compared to my last postpartum when I didn't use a product like this and I just used a regular lotion. All right, next up is a hairspray that I've really been loving. I am so picky when it comes to hairspray. If it makes my hair feel crunchy, I'm done with it. I, I cannot stand that feeling. I know some people want something that's super stronghold and don't mind that, but for me, that is like my number one turn off when it comes to hairspray, but I also want it to not be so light that it's not doing anything and I feel like I'm just spraying my hair with nothing. And this is the perfect in between. This is the Kristen S. Refined Signature Finishing Hairspray. First of all, the packaging on this is absolutely beautiful. I definitely like finding affordable products that don't look super cheapy. I love a lot of Wet n Wild products, but sometimes they look kind of like kid makeup, whereas this brand is affordable, but looks high end. So the claims on this hairspray are that it's for all hair types, multitasking, brushable finish, style setting, medium hold. I would say it's like a light to medium hold, but it definitely is brushable. You can run your fingers through your hair. This is a perfect product for like everyday waves or just whatever everyday hairstyle you like to wear. You can sleep on it and still have really beautiful hair the next morning. So the other thing that I love about this is that it is buildable. So your first kind of pass through your hair is gonna give you more of a light hold. 
Your second pass is going to give you more of that light to medium hold and then if you want to keep going you can. It's made to be layered depending on the level of hold that you want out of your hairspray. So I would prefer that rather than having to buy a brushable hairspray and a stronger hold hairspray. I would prefer to have it all in just one product. My next up is something that I was super skeptical of because I've had some seriously bad experiences with this brand back in like high school. So it's been a while since I've tried them, but I was so scarred that I was like, I'm never trying anything from them again. But then here we are, I did, and I'm glad that I did. It is this Nair leg mask. So I don't know about you guys, but I tried Nair when I was in high school and my whole leg like broke out into a rash. Um, it was itchy, it was so irritated. And every time I've tried Nair, it's been something like that. It feels like I've got a chemical burn on my leg and I never left it on longer than it said to. And I followed the directions, but I've had just horrible luck with using Nair products. When I found out I was gonna have to have a C-section in the middle of June, I was like, okay, I don't want my leg hair to be out of control. It may seem trivial, it may seem silly to some of you that I was thinking about leg hair when I was about to have a baby, but at least for me, my postpartum with my previous pregnancy was pretty rough. You definitely don't feel like yourself in more ways than one, emotionally, physically, everything. And you're totally consumed in the best way by this little life that needs you 24 seven. One thing that I learned from my last postpartum was to find little moments of self-care, even if it's five minutes something that makes me feel like me, something that makes me feel good. It's more for the ritual of doing something that's only for me rather than what I'm actually doing. So this was one of those products for me that I picked up where I was like, you know what? I'd rather not have super hairy legs in the middle of June when I'm wearing nothing but dresses and nightgowns. But I don't know how hard it's gonna to be to bend over and shave after having major abdominal surgery. So I picked this up and after about a week and a half of being home, and I was in the hospital for four or five days, so it had been like a solid two weeks. I have really dark hair, and it shows when I need to shave. And I was not ready yet to like bend down all the way in the shower, lift my leg up. But I told my husband, hey, look, I'm feeling kind of insecure about the hair on my legs, and I'd rather not be there where I'm wearing, when I'm wearing dresses all the time. And he's like, I've got you. So he put this... We had to try it a few times, but the first time he put like a super thin layer of this all over my leg and it says to leave it on between five and 10 minutes. So after five minutes, he used a washcloth to take it off and it did not work. I was so nervous about having that same experience that I did before with like a rash chemical burn that we went on the very low end of the time and we used very little product. And then the second time we tried it, we put a, I say we, my husband put a lot of product, which is what it says to do. It says to apply a thick, even layer. So we did a really thick layer and then waited the full 10 minutes and he used a washcloth and like against the growth of the hair, kind of pushed pretty hard and the hair just rubbed right off. It looked like I had just gotten my legs waxed. It looked even better than it does when I shave. And even he was like, whoa, this is crazy. So if you hate shaving, if you get really bad razor burn and you just don't like the process, I definitely recommend this product. It works really well if you follow the instructions. Like I said, I have really dark, thick hair and leaving it on for the maximum length of time, applying a really thick layer, and then using a good amount of pressure with the washcloth when you're rubbing it off, those were the keys to success with this product, and I was super impressed. The only downside I would say to this is because you have to use so much, if you have kind of long legs like I do, you're not gonna get a whole lot of uses out of this product. You're probably only gonna get a handful of uses. So definitely surprised by this. If you're scared of Nair, like I was, I still highly recommend this. All right, next up is a lip liner that I have been using. You guys probably have noticed. I think I've used it in my like last three videos. And it's the NYX lip pencil in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. This is just the perfect everyday pinky nude shade. Let me swatch it for you guys so you can see the color. It's not too much nude, it's not too much pink. It's so wearable, it lasts a long time, and it goes with a surprising amount of lipsticks. I've paired this with a ton of different lip colors, and it's really versatile. It kind of adjusts the shade to whatever lip color you're using, so you can go a lot more nude, you can go a lot more pink, you can almost go coral, and this color just works with it all because it is, like it says, neutral. It's not too dry of a formula. It glides on really nicely, but it's dry enough to where it's doing its job. It's keeping your lip product within the lines and it's not going to slide around on you whatsoever. So not much else to say. It's just a great formula and a great color. All right, next up are a makeup removing product that I've been really liking. These are from Garnier. 
I am almost done with my Garnier micellar water of the vitamin C kind. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it. And when I bought that, I also picked these up. These are, I don't remember the exact title. They're called something like the Garnier Micellar Wipes. They've got two different sides, a pink side and a white side. The pack comes with three. So this is almost a week's worth of makeup removal. You can put the micellar water one night all over this side, wipe down your face, and then the next night use the other side, and then you've got four more nights with the other two. This especially works for me and my routine because the way that I use my micellar water is not to totally remove my makeup. I would probably need to use both sides every night if this was the only step that I took to remove my makeup but my first step is always a cleansing balm or cleansing oil and then I go in with this face wash or whatever face wash that I'm using and then I go in with the micellar water. I like to use it last because it does have vitamin C in it and I want to leave it on my skin. I don't want to rinse it off. It's like my insurance policy. I feel like I'm getting all of my makeup off when I use my cleansing oil and my face wash, but I just want to know for sure that I am and that I got into all the different crevices. So when I do go in with this, almost no makeup and sometimes absolutely no makeup is removed so these don't get super dirty for me. They're incredibly soft. They feel like the most comfortable fleece jacket you've ever worn. Really, really delicate on the skin and a good way to kind of go green with your makeup removal process. All right, last but not least are a pair of earrings. I've worn these, I think in my last two videos or maybe it was two videos ago. I will link it down below but these are little diamond studs that I got off of Amazon. I wanna say they were like $10, super affordable. I'll show you guys a close-up so you can see, but these just look really high-end. The way that they're set, they're really sparkly, really shiny. I've worn these to death, so mine are a little bit duller. I need to clean them now than they were when I first bought them. But for the price, they look pretty realistic. A few favorites videos ago, I wanna say it was like two favorites ago, I showed you guys a diamond necklace, a diamond necklace that I bought off of Amazon and this is from the same shop. This is from the same like Amazon store and I loved that necklace so much that I went and bought these earrings and they have a bunch of other jewelry that I want to check out. They've got like little ear cuffs and I just feel like the price is incredible. The quality is great and I am not someone that needs to be wearing expensive jewelry because I lose it way too often. Same with sunglasses. So if I can find affordable Amazon or Etsy pieces to wear that look high end, but if I lose it, I'm not gonna lose my mind, then that's a win for me. And this definitely checks all those boxes. And that is everything. Those are all of my favorites for the month of August. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys have been loving this month. I'm definitely looking to do another haul here soon. So I'd love to know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I will see you guys in my next one.